What's going on guys, it's your boy Cyber and today, as you can see, we're using Flute Girl, aka Tayuga, aka The God, because today, what happened was, I was playing a little bit earlier, like a few minutes ago, and what happened was, I was playing with Tayuga, and, well, she just went God mode, she just turned into, you know, I don't know, like, for some reason she went better than normal, so, I'm gonna let you guys see this, and I hope you enjoy, and I'm trying something new, I'll explain it once my intro's over. Play my music. So I told you guys I was going to try something new. What I'm going to try is I'm going to try commentating over some of the fights. If not all of the fights. But I'm going to try commentating over some of, some of them or all of them. But so today, as you guys already saw, I'm using Tuyuya. And well, for support I'm also using Sound4 members. But mainly I'm using Tuyuya because what I like about Tuyuya is she's not a puppet master. Right? However... She is her own individual character between Puppet Master and Spamming character. Now, as you can see, well, you can't see it yet, but what you're going to see a lot of is me <laughs> trying to make space between me and the opponent because what you need while playing as to you, you need a lot, a lot of space. So I'll just wait and then I'll wait until, you know, the other opponent chooses their character. Well, I'll wait until the other guy chooses his character and then I'll continue what I'm saying. Ooh, my man chose Kisame looking nice, but he chose Anoki. Like, he chose the man with the tomato for a nose. Like, my man even got, my man even ain't even got a tomato. He, ch he got that, uh, what's it called? What's that vegetable called? He got that turnip nose. There we go. Leave in the comments if you guys are aware that turnips are fruits. I mean, whoa, 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 vegetables. Though, whoever feels that they're fruits, you know, you can leave that in the comments too. No one will judge you if, you know, they are fruits. However, I do believe they're vegetables. But, so, he has, what's it called? Kisame. Kisame is the character for, what's that called? For Infinite Combo. I don't remember if I did a Kisame gameplay. I mean, I did Week of the Akatsuki, but that wasn't, you know, Kisame, you know... Kisame in general, so I'm gonna probably do a Kisame video soon, but as you can see, I'm using Stockon and Yukon very nicely, trying to make up them powerful barriers because, you know, I do need space, as you can see, because Doki, like I said, Tuyuya doesn't control him. She's not a puppet master, she doesn't control him. He goes of his own free will, well, not of his own free will, you have to keep Sam in circle, but he goes of, you know, will, of will. I'm not gonna say what type of will, because I'll probably be wrong, but, you know, Ooh, look at to you, you're looking powerful. But uh, the only difference is once she's on ground, she can't use combos. She can only use uh, combos while in air. But so, what I was gonna say was, she doesn't control Doki. Doki, you know, is one of those one of those things. He's like his own character. He's like a support character. He can take as many hits as needed. He can block hits for you. You can't summon more than one of him though. So. I'm trying to use Sakon and Yukon to make space, and also I'm using Yukon right now. I know I said I'm using it to Yuya only, but the reason I'm using Yukon is to, again, make some space. Because, you know, I need that extra space. Ooh, look at me with that long combo. Ah! The brother hit. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna... Oh my... This is where I got hit. Crap. I'm not gonna... What's it called? color coded. There are some downsides to using Tuyuya online, but if you feel that you're good enough to use her, then you can. My boy! 
Like, my boy had to summon that big shark to kill me, really? Like, bruh. I guess I gotta take you out. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, first of all, I want to switch out to Tuyuya. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. But that's alright. Still got the ultimate. Rashomon. Yo, that sounds like a Jamaican name. Hey, yo, Rashomon, come here. <laughs> like, boy. Who came up with the names for these? Because, like, for the moves. I'm not hating that the name is Rashomon, but it sounds pretty racist if you ask me. And I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. But Cyber, who asked you? Everybody asked me. Because I'm Cyber. How's it going? But, uh, since I don't want to run out of things to talk about, let me tell you guys ahead of time about some, uh, upcoming DLC for One Piece. Alright, so, um, DLC for One Piece has been announced. For those of you who are enjoying One Piece Burning Blood, DLC has been announced. Um, they put up 13 characters on the website for Burning Blood. And, um, I, I don't know, guys. Some of those characters should not be on that roster. I mean, I understand why they're there, but still. And look at me going powerful with the worms. My man Kisa may about to get ringworm out this piece. But um, before I go off track, 13 characters, some of them shouldn't be on the roster. Let me explain to you who I voted for. Because I yes, I feel you know that you guys should go and vote, but I'm gonna tell you who I voted for. So, on that roster are two members because there are going to be three characters coming out for DLC to start out. So, on that roster, there are two members of CP9, which I actually enjoy. Kaku, which was the giraffe guy, and, um, what's his name? And Rob Lucy, the cheetah. I, I really don't know what he was. I think he was a tiger. Or jaguar. I'm, I'm just saying because I don't pay attention to detail while I'm, I don't pay attention to detail while I'm watching something. I was watching One Piece, you know, because the fight looked amazing between Rob Lucci and uh, Luffy. That fight looked amazing. And look at me spin trolling this guy, but that fight, that fight was one of the best fights aside from the uh, Don Flamingo fight. But so, um, the character I voted for, because when you go to vote, you only get, you know, to vote for one character. I voted for Rob Luffy. Why? A, because his fight with Luffy was amazing. And B, because of his move. Like, I really want to see his Tempest kick. I want to see his, um... I can't remember what the move was that he hit Luffy in the chest. And it was like a Tempest move. I can't remember what it was. But I want to see that move. I want to see... I want to see Rob Luffy. Now, if they would have let us vote for more than one character, let me tell you who I would have chose. Because there are some amazing characters on that roster. What I would have chose was um, Cavendish. Because I don't know how they would do it with Cavendish. But, um, and look at me 1%ing this guy. Damn. But what I was going to say was Cavendish to me. In One Piece, he was actually pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know what uh, Hakuba is. But his Hakuba, like that Hakuba side was pretty amazing. I, I, if they do put him in the game, I hope they put that side of him in the game as well. However, if they also put that side in the game, how would it work? Like, would it be completely, you know, like how it was in the anime? Or would it be like an alternate costume for him like they sometimes do? However, the characters that I, that I would enjoy to see if they do put, you know, more than three characters in the game, I would enjoy to see um, Rob Lucci. Kaku, Cavendish, Tashigi, because she's on the roster as well. Um, who else? Tashigi. I would like to see Kobe, but after seeing him, you know, in the, I, I saw his picture. I was looking at his picture again, and I was wondering what good would he be? Because he was he wasn't that big, you know. It, he was in the anime, but he wasn't that big of a character in the anime. He was just he just wanted to be Luffy's rival because he saw how powerful Luffy was. Um, but the characters I'd like to see is Rob Luffy, Kaku, Tashigi, uh, Cavendish, uh, who else? Kobe, maybe. If, they, if they're able to make him a good character like they did Usopp, then maybe Kobe. Um, 
Some of the characters I really don't want to see because why? I understand why they're on the roster, but just why? Uh, one of the characters is Treeball. I know he's from uh, Doffy's, you know, family, quote unquote. But just why? I, I really don't like him. Because in the anime, as you guys saw, as soon as Law cut off his mucus coat, he was skinny as hell, hunched as hell. Like, why would you put him in the game? Like, would that be his awakening? Like, hit his mucus coat coming off? Like, I, I really don't know. Because in the anime, I wasn't that big of a fan of Tree Bowl, right? So, uh, another character I'm not too big of a fan of is Caesar Clown. Again, he should have been in the game originally because, you know, he was on, you know, some of the... Uh, he was on one of the parts of the anime that was actually, you know, pretty good. But I really don't understand why he's on the DLC roster. I'm sure nobody wants him, but, you know... Um, who else? Who else should I feel that shouldn't be on the roster but is? Senior Pink? I mean, some people disagree with me. Some people are probably voting for Senior Pink, uh, Caesar Clown, and uh, who else did I say? And Tree Bowl. Some people are probably voting for them just because, you know, Tree Bowl is a part of Doffy's family, fake family. Well, not fake, but, you know, quote unquote family. Um, and that's probably what people are voting for them. But to me, they would have been, they'd be probably be useless. Uh, useless in the game however some people are going to vote for them so you do you i'm not telling you who to vote for however rob lucy to me is he has to be in the game he should have been in the game from the start but you know people have the developers for the game had other plans they have him as a, as a support character another character I, I forgot to tell you who else another character i feel that needs to be in the game, like needs to, needs to, needs to, that they're, you know, a support character in the game, is Monkey D. Garp. He's on the roster, he's on the roster as well. He does. He deserves to be a character because for those of you who remember Pirate Warriors, you know, One Piece Pirate Warriors 2, 1, you know, and 3, uh, what's it called? Um, Monkey D. Garp, Luffy's grandfather, he was actually an amazing character. Him with the cannonballs, you know, everything he did was amazing. Even the way he took off his coat, you know, his marine coat, yeah, even that was amazing. So, I feel that he should also be in the game. What I feel though is Bandai really needs to make a bigger roster because they're only limiting us to choosing three characters when everybody really wants more than three. Everybody wants to see should to, uh, everyone wants to see Toshigi, everyone wants to see Rob Lucci, everyone wants to see Kaku. You know, everyone wants to see a whole bunch of characters. However, I feel that there was one more character that I didn't, you know, dissect that actually should be on the roster, but he's not. And that character, to me, would have to be Corazon or Cor Corazon, or however you pronounce his name. Don Flamenco's brother, okay? I understand that we're not, there, we're probably not gonna know as much about him, you know, as, the, as we should. However, he was actually a big part in the anime. He's the reason that Law got the op-op fruit. He, you know, was feeding uh, information to Sengoku about uh, Don Flamenco. He was the reason that Don Flamenco's alive because if it were up to Law, Law would have pulled the trigger on Don Flamenco, but, you know, he was a kid when, you know, all this happened, but Corazon couldn't pull the trigger because he was too nice, so Daffy ended up killing him. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen it, you know. But, um, I feel that he should have been on the, you know, roster, and as a matter of fact, for those of you who haven't seen it, why haven't you seen it if you have burning blood? Like... But, so he deserves to be, you know, a part of the roster, he deserves to be in the game. We probably might not know him that much about him, but, you know, he still deserves to be... If You know, he was Doffy's brother, he deserves to be in the game, and... Oh! Chains of Fantasia! I love this ultimate because of this part, watch. Halo hey, Claude. Like, that part is my favorite part, but, um... What was I saying? Crap, my remote. Sorry, guys. But, so, I feel that... He needs to, needs to, needs to be in the game, because why not? He, he was a good, you know, he was Doffy's brother, his actual brother. 
Why, why wouldn't he be in the game? I actually feel that they wasted a few character slots in the game that they could have saved. For example, Smoker. Why couldn't you, you know, put a uh, year two Smoker for like you did in the game as a costume? Like, in the game, they put regular Marines and then their year two Marines. But for Smoker, they did it differently. They put him as a different character, even though it's the same character, same moves. Why? You could have just put another character in there. You could have put, uh, what's his name? You could have put Rob Lucci in there. You could have put Kaku. You could have put Toshigi. Why are, now are you giving us DLC when you messed up and you could have put them in the game already? Another thing that deserves to be in the game is pre-time skip the whole Straw Hat crew. Because you only have pre-time skip, um, what's it called? You only have pre-time skip Luffy. Why couldn't you put pre-time skip Zoro, pre-time skip Usopp, pre-time skip everyone? That would have been better. But no, you guys had to skip everything and only put pre-time skip Luffy and put in uh, instead of and put in year two Smoker instead of putting that as a costume. Now they're giving us DLC to hold, you know, to say, oh, a big star. They're doing that, you know, to apologize somehow for doing that. And look at. Sorry guys, but what's happening here is this guy thought that he could, um, what's it called, he could beat me with a Puppet Master because, you know, people tend to forget that, uh, to you is not a Puppet Master, like I said before. So he thought that, you know, oh, she's a Puppet Master, once her, you know, once she's hit, Doki will stop moving. No, if I hit Circle, and you go to hit Doki, and he's still moving, he'll go and hit you. It doesn't matter if I'm getting hit, he'll still hit you, and end up going for you. So that's a big factor to winning a match. D don't ever stop hitting circle if you're using Tuya. I mean, yes, you'll have to some at times stop hitting circle, but do it at the right time. Don't just go, you know, every time stopping to hit circle when you think they're coming for you. Because as to you, you can jump up. Even if you're doing a combo with Doki, you can jump up. But so, getting back to One Piece, all right. I don't want to see Tree Bowl. I'm not going to be mad if he isn't, you know, in, is in the game because after all, he's Daffy's, you know, quote unquote family. However, I will be mad if the if the good characters that should have been in the game from the beginning, like Cavendish, Rob Luffy, Kaku, Toshigi, I would be mad if people don't vote for them and if we don't get good characters as DLC. Like if we get characters that are, you know, the week of the week, uh, you know, bad characters then I won't be happy. I mean, I'll still get them so I can do videos for you guys, but I won't be happy because the people who deserve to be in, in this game are OP characters. Like, not OP OP, but regular OP, like Toshigi. She's not OP, she's, you know, she's just, the reason she deserves to be in this game is because she's Zoro, Zoro's childhood rival, right? And then, um, what's his name? Rob, I keep forgetting his name, sorry. Rob Lushi. He deserves to be in the game because, I mean, after all, he's not OP OP. However, he was still a big part of, you know, Luffy's big, you know, gear third, gear fourth, everything. Because if it wasn't for that fight, Luffy probably would have never used, you know, gear third until like a later on fight. And he probably would have, you know, been a little bit weaker than what he is right now. So, I feel that Rob Luffy was a big part, you know... In that, and his, Rob Lucci's fight, and then um, Kaku. The reason I feel that Kaku deserves to be in this game as well is because I know he wasn't that big of a you know CP9 char fire or character, but he deserves to be in the game because after all, he was the one who fought against Zoro, and I feel that the same thing goes for Zoro. Without his you know fight with Kaku, he probably wouldn't have been as strong as he is now. So Kaku deserves to be in the fight as well. I mean, Burning Blood as well. Now, most of you people are going to say, but Cyber, why are you saying Cavendish? I mean, Cavendish, to me, he's he's a pretty good, you know, character in the game. He deserves to be in the game based on the fact that um, his Hakuba, I don't know what that is. Again, I'm sorry, I got to look it up, but I got to figure out what his Hakuba is. For those of you who know what Hakuba is, leave it in the comments. I feel that it's his dual-sided personality because that's what Bartholomeo said but um what's it called but if that's true 
then that should be a bit that'll be a big factor in the game that'll be a big you know thing in the game if if, if you know he becomes a character that's why i feel if he's a character it would be amazing like he could be you know a big character would probably be up, able to go up against someone you know as strong as fujitora or don flamingo Daffy, right but um that's the reason i feel that they deserve to be in the game for those of you who um what's it called for those of you who feel that other characters you know deserve to be in the game then go look for yourself of on the one piece site right i'll try to uh leave a link in the comments go look that go look up the what's it called go look up the damn it go look at the voting roaster it's on the one piece burning blood game website go look up that it'll tell you you know all the characters that are going to be dlc and all the characters you can vote for i personally voted for rob lucci you only be able to vote for one character though so it's up to you guys go check it out i'm actually pretty excited because i have a feeling that uh rob lucci is going to be one of the characters and if he is you're going to see me getting the dlc first day just because he was a big factor in the one piece you know series he was a big factor in luffy's you know gear third gear fourth because you know as i said before luffy probably wouldn't have been as strong as he is now if Rob Lucci wouldn't have fought him and lost. And also, I feel that you know Rob Lucci deserves to be in the game as well because him and Kaku now they're in CP0. So CP0 is actually if they make more DLC for this game, CP0 should be some of the DLC. But so that's all I have to say in this video, and I'll help, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest. Hope you guys enjoyed and. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is actually the first time I commentated the whole time through. So tell me if you guys want to see more of this. So, so like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.